All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, 3A figure. And the figure I'm showing you guys is uh, th uh, Bumblebee from the Transformers movie. Uh, it's actually movie 3, uh, Bumblebee. So let's take a look at the figure and all the accessories. All right, and since I, since I got the retail version, uh, it doesn't come with the pylon thing. Uh, but uh, all he comes with is uh, this... Uh, arm cannon, interchangeable arm cannon, and that's about it, and this instruction paper. Alright, and uh, on the back of this page it uh, shows uh, where the battery is supposed to go. Uh, there's one on top of his head to light up his eyes, and then one on the back of his neck to light up the chest, and then one to light up his uh, arm cannon. Uh, it takes uh, AG1 batteries. So three, six, nine batteries total, and uh, the buttons for each. And it shows you what's gonna light up, and then here are all the articulations, uh, how you can move this uh, figure, and how to uh, interchange the arm, and the battle mask. Alright, and here we have Bumblebee outside of packaging, and uh, I took the liberty of putting him, putting uh, on his uh, arm cannon, right there, and there's the rest of him, and his uh, other arm. Here's another look. There's a side view of Bumblebee. And a back view. See, there's a lot of intricate details going on here. This thing is massive and also a lot to look at. And here's the other side. So, let's do a closer look at B. And uh, one thing that I notice is the plastic, uh, the armor um, of this uh, figure here. Um, the paint job on it is not that great. I mean, you could definitely see weathering on it and uh, and the carbon fiber uh, carbon uh, fiber um, chipping and all that other stuff. Uh, the metal pieces, uh, no metal pieces, but uh, the plastic that uh, supposed to look metal, um, they're okay. And the, uh, the yellow pieces, they don't look uh, metallic at all. Uh, basically, if you have um, Peabody and uh, Atlas, then you know exactly what I mean. Uh, basically, they just painted a gloss over the plastic, so it gives it a, a shine. But the plastic itself doesn't look metallic, so you're not gonna get that metallic look. How how a actual uh, actual uh, car would look, you don't get that at all uh, with this figure. I mean, from far away, he looks amazing. But uh, if you look at him up close, let's see if I could show it. Uh, you guys probably can't tell uh, with the camera, but you don't really see uh, metallic base color uh, on this uh, on this uh, bumblebee here. Maybe the chest will show a little bit better. And all you see is just a gloss paint uh, over plastic pieces which is a bit disappointing because uh, uh, this is uh, quite an expensive uh, figure and uh, the detailing it's amazing but uh, it's just a paint job hopefully the rest of the line will not be like this because I know um, Megatron and uh, Starscream might look better because they're both metallic based uh, this and Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime, I'm a little worried now because uh, that one's actually uh, it costs more than uh, Bumblebee, and he uh, and uh, Optimus Prime is going to be taller too, so that might be the case. But um, hopefully they'll change the uh, the paint job a little bit uh, so it has a metallic base. And uh, another complaint I have is the uh, these two uh, pieces that go. Uh, on top of his head. Um, you can see um, on the left side it has that piece and uh, the right side I took that piece off and uh, here you can see there are two um, little notches there 
it's supposed to hold this piece in place here I flipped it over you can see there are two notches right there it's supposed to um, uh, plug those in uh, those uh, that piece uh, onto his head and uh, but uh, it doesn't really work that well uh, it tends to fall off quite easily and uh, basically you're supposed to remove uh, these two pieces and then put the battle mask over him the battle mask is fine and here he is with the battle mask on um, yeah the battle mask is fine it's just the two pieces are a little loose and uh, yeah uh, tires are rubber rubber tires uh, they feel really weird though um, and a uh, head is on a ball joint but uh, it does have limited uh, range motion and the uh, shoulders it, it's basically a ball hinge and uh, see moves up and down and the shoulder pad actually uh, moves uh, independently too and uh, this arm could go up and down and then uh, with the um, with the bicep uh, there is a swivel uh, section and uh, this right here has a swivel section and then we have a hinge join and uh, also over here um, there's another swivel section where the cannon can actually rotate uh, same with this arm and then um, the wrist itself is on a ball joint and then the chest uh, not a whole lot of movement and uh, it can kind of pivot left and right just a little but not a whole lot and then nothing around the waist and then the hips are on a ball hinge and so the leg can actually go in and out and then uh, forward and back motion uh, but uh, this piece uh, does hinder articulation quite a bit uh, it's supposed to be underneath uh, this uh, outer shelf here and uh, it, it does block the articulation quite a bit because it is just sitting here and uh, there isn't a whole lot of room for it to move around and then here um, around here there's a ratcheting um, a swivel joint and then there's a hinge joint right there and also ratcheting and then we have a ratcheting knee joint and uh, a swivel joint right here for the toes uh, for the foot Let's see if I could rotate like that left and right and uh, same thing back there uh, back here this whole piece uh, can rotate left and right a little bit it's, uh, for stability and then the wing could rotate up and down and uh, same with the, the door handle right there uh, over here uh, there's a rotation and then a hinge joint and same here there's a hinge joint right here so this uh, spoiler could go up and down a little bit and here's what it's supposed to look like when it's actually on and then uh, chest you can see uh, the headlights on and then the eyes all lit up so let's remove the battle mask so you guys can see the eyes all right and uh, here are the eyes and uh, you can see um, he has a lazy eye on the, on his uh, right side there um, I think it's mainly because how they painted um, the eyelid uh, it's just uh, went a little low while this one doesn't really have anything so it looks like one eye is uh, one eye is uh, bigger than the other I guess I could I could kind of fix that by uh, adding a little silver paint on top of the eye lit section uh, for the left eye to even it out or scrape away some of the uh, paint on the right eye but which is kind of disappointing uh, that I have to modify this thing while I pay so much for it so let's take a look at the rest of them again uh, no, I didn't really give you guys a detailed look so far and you can see some of the carbon fiber pieces are chipped away just nice uh, but uh, it's okay yeah I think it's more of a decal that's on there it looks like a decal doesn't look like it's painted on there but there's the rest of them it's a little um, um, would you get um the license plate a lot of stuff to look at uh, on this uh bumblebee figure here 
And here I got Bumblebee uh, kneeling, uh, which is kind of impressive. <laughs> the fact that he could do that with uh, that much armor on him uh, here. Just got to be careful when you're turning. Uh, make sure this piece is not being blocked by a piece back there. So just, uh, just be a little careful. And uh, you can see his knee could bend a 90 degree angle, which is impressive. And uh, yeah, so he's actually kneeling. Kind of impressive again, yeah. And here you can see his arms could be raised uh, that high. And uh, yeah, there's there's an uh, actual ratcheting joint uh, here, but you could barely hear it. It's not that strong. Uh, but the knees and the hips are way stronger than the arms. And this figure stands about uh, 15 inches in height. And uh, here you can see a comparison with uh, Iron Man on the left, Bumblebee in the middle, and um, Hawkeye on the right. And I forgot to show you guys the fingers. Uh, they're all articulated, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, and then the forearm piece. Cool looking. Now Bumblebee is going to set you back about $390 and uh, is it worth the price? Um, I don't know. Uh, to me, uh, he is very intricate uh, and um, way more accurate than uh, a lot of the other Transformers we have seen out there. Uh, but uh, uh, for $390, uh, it is kind of expensive. But it is a very, very impressive uh, piece as well. And uh, you can see there's a lot of stuff going on and uh, uh, very layered up, which I like when it comes to uh, these robots. Uh, overall, yeah, I, I, do, I do like it and uh, I'm glad I have it. But uh, for, for people who aren't that into uh, the movie Transformers, then... Uh, this is definitely not for you. So there he is, Bumblebee from 3A. Thanks for watching.